The world's fucking rough. The world's fucking rough. It's hard to be a man. You're, you're designed to be insecure. And a lot of people, man, walk into a gym. Walk into a gym, go spar, go grapple. It's like, it's a brothership, it's a home. Yes, like a you must think first before you move. What's up, Fight Fans? Sean Strickland is the real Slim Shady because he's only saying things we joke around with our friends inside our living room. The only difference is he's got the... There's a reason why the UFC slogan is as real as it gets. In a society where everything is manufactured and fake, mixed martial arts has long been a stable source of realism. Real fighters, real people who have real mohawks, who really beat the shit out of each other for real money in front of really drunk, screaming fans, you know? Like the Coliseum. Sports provide an outlet for people a chance to come together with the boys, tap into that visceral part of the chimp mind. Today, 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 smash. But what happens when even MMA, most sacred of things, becomes tainted by external influences like China? Strickland gained notoriety by calling out Izzy on how easily he folded over and became Chinese for that yuan. I'm a Chinese. He also clowned him for beating off the hentai and painting his nails, something I'm only half familiar with. At first, it seems like regular shit talking, but in later interviews, you can tell that Strickland actually has a general distaste for the bullshit turn modern society seems to be taking. Literally, America is becoming like communist China, where like we're letting our school system dictate values and beliefs. We're letting the system tell you what your kids are. I mean, how do you how do you fix a moral decay of a society when? That's just where we're going. Mm. You got TikTok. Kids are being raised by the system. Right. By fucking TikTok. I don't mean to go too far down a rabbit hole here. I'll let Joe Rogan do it for me. I think it's engineered. I really by do. By who? By China and by Russia. Oh, no, Chinese. Uh, what they're doing by manipulating social media, and I think it's accentuated by algorithms naturally because people are inclined to go towards things that upset them but also it's, it's done purposely. So over time, you and I, who used to be on the left, are now like, where's the left? Where are you guys? You yeah. guys are so far away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I yeah. can't even see you. Yeah, yeah. Giving little kids <laughs> yeah, yeah. hormone blockers. You have no idea what the long-term consequences are. You're ignoring the health risk. Feminization of men is evident in pop culture and was strangely apparent in the UFC's middleweight division a few years back. Every time culture moves too far in one direction, there's a pushback. You know, I call it the pendulum effect. Young men, now more than ever, are fighting to maintain their manhood in a society of failing morals and shifty language. So they look for strong male role models and they find uh, Andrew Tate. Sean Strickland is that guy to the UFC's middleweight division, except he doesn't drive a Bugatti, he drives a Hyundai Accent, which, same, I did for a while. His dad didn't play chess with him, no, his dad beat the shit out of him ironically training little Strickland to one day be a future UFC champion. But he's still calling out any and all cuckery from Sean O'Malley to Ian Gary. It doesn't matter. You're not safe. Sean Strickland is making the UFC great again. And so they tried to cancel him, but it backfires. I did want to ask, you know, you're in Toronto. Welcome. Glad to hear it. it's been great. Are you Canadian? Uh, of course I am. Are you part of the fucking opposition? Are uh, you? Uh, I don't know how to phrase that. Ask did him. you vote for Trudeau? Uh, you know, I'm not gonna say. And, and let me tell you something right now, if a man says he's not gonna say, like if you ask him, oh, did you vote for Biden? He's like, well, I'm not gonna say, that's none of your business. He voted for fucking Biden. So this is Our, this is what I'm talking about, you guys, the enemy, the enemy of Canada. Sure. Sure. All right. That's what it's gotta be, it's gotta be. Uh, we've got a pretty supportive gay and lesbian yeah. community in this city. I did want to ask you about something you wrote a couple of years ago. You said, if I had a gay son, I would think I'd- Oh, look, another, another, the I'm yeah. saying to you, the swamp, you guys, the swamp. You become a champion, you become a star, and, and someone's- Let me ask model. you something, have, are you, are you, are you gay? Have you had the chance no, to are, interact with are, a more diverse Are you, crowd? let me know, are, are you gay? Can I hear, can I get an answer? Well, no, I'm asking, I'm, this is a part of the, are you, are you a gay man? I'm an ally of the community. Okay. If you had a son and he was like, you know, you had a son, he was gay, you'd be like, oh man, you don't, you don't want a grandkid? No problem with it. Oh man, well, you, dude, you're a weak fucking man, dude. You're like, you're part of the fucking problem. You elected Justin Trudeau. Like, would you fucking, when he sees the bank accounts, like, you're just fucking pathetic. You know, people are tired of the bullshit. There's a Slim Shady in all of us. Fighting saved Sean Strickland, and I think that's really his message. It's a, for others, it may be jujitsu or some other form of training, but an avenue for self-improvement, something to build character. I think the best example of what he stands for is he gets knocked out by Alex Pereira, and then he goes head first to train with him. Comes back, takes the belt from Izzy. 
on short notice in historic underdog fashion. Love him or hate him, you have to respect that. And fans certainly do. So here's the recipe for success straight from the gospel of Deshaun. I was about, you know, 14 years old, just kind of miserable, angry. I walked in the gym the first time, and then I was, it was the first time in my life I've ever felt happiness. And the world's fucking rough. The world's fucking rough. It's hard to be a man. You're, you're designed to be insecure. And a lot of people, man, walk into a gym. Walk into a gym, go spar, go grapple. It's like, it's a brothership, it's a home. Truly, is a, it's the last safe haven for like mental health and masculinity, which is insane because we try to kill each other. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for more. Checkmate signing out. Peace.